Hello the internet, uh, I'm Terence Eden. I want to talk a little bit about threading and how we view threads of conversations. So this is app.net um, and this is a rather long conversation that people are having. Um, and as you can see the way that app.net renders a conversational thread is just flat. So it looks like I here have replied to uh, this person above me and that person has replied there, but it, it might not be the case. It's, it doesn't show the different strands of conversation that are happening. So if we take a look at how Sentagger performs threading, uh, we can see something like this. So this might look familiar if you've used a, a forum or used it or something like that. You can see that as the thread gets deeper it becomes more and more indented. But of course the problem with this is it's very hard to see well what's this one in reply to? We have to scroll all the way back up and, and try and figure it out. So I've come up with a new way of performing threaded conversations or looking through threaded conversations using a hypertree. So this is a, uh, a demo, this is an example of what a hypertree threaded conversation looks like. Um, so as you can see in the center we have the origin point of the conversation. This, this is just an example, so this is Lucy Pepper saying let's build a better way to view threads and you can see that on the pop-up and also up here. Uh, and we can see that these four people have replied to her. So there's me down there saying something like this and then we can see replies branching off like that. So you can immediately visually see who's saying what and what uh, it's in reply to. And as we click on the node, it, uh, our viewpoint reorientates itself. So we can go there and we can trace back and see well, what, what's everyone saying. I want to go back to that conversation. What's going down on this thread? Um, so this is the way that it could look if I move to another tab. Uh, imagine if you had a fairly complex conversation, you can see here uh, there's the origin point, here are all the branches off, um, you know, we, we can sort of follow this thread all the way down and then decide to go back through it uh, as well. Um, again, this is just dummy data. What I've done is I've taken that very first thread, so, so this one here, um, I've mapped that onto a hypertree. And this is what it looks like. Now, um, this is a demo and it, it's slightly confusing. So we've got the origin point here, which is Berg uh, talking about URL expansion, and we can see straight away that Kozo has replied to him. So we can zoom in on Kozo uh, and see what uh, he's been saying, um, and we can see all the different strands of conversation coming off. There's me replying to Kozo, um, and then it gets quite complex as different people reply to me, but other people reply to them. Um, I think the algorithm used for actually mapping out the, the hypertree is a bit um, a bit skewed because you can see some of these branches going off in all sorts of funny directions and with this is I think 200 odd um, different posts it can become quite complex to, to navigate your way around there so I need to do some uh, uh, some work on that but the, the the general idea is that most conversations aren't going to be much more complex than this or if they are I can find a better way to do that but I, I just think that being able to visually see each strand of a conversation makes more sense than, than this where you know you once you get right down the end um, well hang on th this guy here who, who did he reply to and eg is sort of slightly further up and it gets quite confusing here it's just a, a simple visual ah uh, I replied to that person these people replied to me and then I can navigate back um, now as I say when you're looking at a, a fairly complex one um, and I'm fully prepared to believe that the algorithm I've used hasn't quite done it justice. Um, <laughs> it can get quite complex to see where all these different threads originate and who's replied to them but I think this could be a uh, for, for long complex conversations I think this can be a better way to view and reply and see who's talking to who rather than just assuming that all threads are linear. So there we go, that's um, a hypertree conversation viewer for app.net. I'll be releasing the source code very soon.